Matthew Berry here from the set of the Fantasy Show on ESPN+. Plus. And hey, if you drafted Amari Cooper and Derrick Henry in fantasy football this year, managed to start both of them this past week, <laughs> congratulations, my friend. You won your first-round playoff game pretty easily. But that assumes, of course, you've managed to make the playoffs with them. Remember, prior to this week, Henry running back 39 on the year. I mean, he was barely a top 40 running back before Thursday night. And Cooper, before he was traded to the Cowboys, he was actually wide receiver 68. I have to say, Cooper, since leaving the Raiders, has been on fire. In six games with Dallas, Cooper actually averaging 23 fantasy points per game. Over a full season, that would be the best wide receiver in fantasy. Since his first game with Dallas in Week 9, Cooper actually leads all receivers in the NFL in yards. He's tied for the most receiving touchdowns. Now, obviously, starting Cooper at this point is a no-brainer. We've been telling you for many weeks now how good he is in that target share in Dallas. However, you got to use your brain when it comes to Derrick Henry. I don't think he's a no-brainer start going forward. Look closer, okay? Henry's huge Thursday night performance accounted for more than a third of his fantasy points all year long. One great game doesn't outweigh the 12 not-so-great ones before it. He is only a touchdown-dependent flex consideration for me going forward.